think most people feel like creating an energy efficient building starts with understanding the materials. And I'm gonna shift that and ask you to understand your climate before you think about what materials you're gonna use. Because different materials make more sense depending on your climate. So if you ask the question, what is my climate? and what are my heating or cooling needs, then knowing what types of materials to look for or what types of materials are appropriate will be crystal clear. If our goal always with a building is to create examples that are durable as well as energy efficient, that energy efficiency is always gonna start with passive solar design. What does that mean? Passive means there's no moving parts. It just happens because of the way it was designed. Solar is the sun. So what is your relationship to the sun? Are you using the radiant heat energy from the sun in a way that warms you up? Are you trying to block the sun so that you stay cool? And then design, obviously, you're using those strategies to design just the way something is designed allows you to passively, without parts, use the sun in a way that benefits the thermal performance that you're trying to achieve. So really what we're describing is a way to basically stay comfortable. Whether it's warming or cooling, you're staying comfortable because of how something was designed for free. Because the sun is free. Our next deep dive is gonna be understanding the difference between thermal mass materials and insulation materials. And we've been touching on those two terms the whole way through with climate, with passive solar design, with building envelopes. And what I wanna do now is take a really good deep dive so that we understand what is a thermal mass and what is an insulation material and how they impact the performance that you are trying to achieve in terms of energy usage. You wanna use mass if you're trying to heat. You wanna use mass where it has an energy input, especially during the day when it's warmer. And if you're trying to use mass to cool, you wanna keep it in the shade all the time and then it will always be a cooling mechanism. How do you effectively take heat energy and distribute it over time so that you're not just warm when the sun is out. You're not just warm when the fire's on. You're not just warm when the heater's on. You're warm in perpetuity all the time in this very evenly temperatured space because you have this thermal mass that is being charged. And if you're asking yourself the question, do I need an insulator? If you're not sure, the answer is always yes. Insulation is always beneficial from keeping the temperature different inside a space than outside a space, always. As you take this course and go build things, you're gonna build them so that they are smart, where they're located, they make sense, they're energy efficient, they're high quality, Then you're gonna take beautiful photos and you're gonna share them. Because if we share beautiful examples of natural buildings, the whole world is gonna look and say, I want some of that, please. So that's how we're gonna change the world, it's up to you.